so this is magma. Is this different? So this this isn't the same IO. It looks like the same IO. Oh, why is it called magma now? I thought it's been called magma. All right. Um, if you join the chat, and if you join the stream, you can watch it, and you can you can get the link in there. And I just dropped the link. Bet. Better Rooney. All right. I'm getting the wildest ad for these like dragon riders. Same. Why am I getting these ads? It's a really dope ad though. I love it. This is cool as shit. This is a team of artists that spent like four whole years on this one single game. I love it. I'm never gonna play it. Wow. Um, okay. Hi, welcome back to another episode of Painting with Friends. Today I am uh joined wait, what? Okay. Okay, got you. Um Hi! Welcome back to another episode of Painting with Friends. As usual, I'm Vaz Hayes, and today I'm joined by our returning guest for the second time in, in Geo the Creator, baby. <laughs> and I guess we're doing some more digital art design. Um yes. this time we're gonna do something constructive instead of just like a bunch of scribbles because why not really show off what a digital artist can do? Um, so we're going to be jumping into uh, magma.com. I guess it's no longer an IO. Um, and we're going to be playing around with the canvas in there. And we're going to be creating some concept art. Uh, actually, give me one moment. It's still acting. Here we go. Here we go. You got it? All right. All right. So we're going to give me a second, though. Okay. So we're going to be coming up with some concept art for... Uh, an idea called Firefighters in Space. Ooh. So the goal is to draw a telenovela of firefighters in space. You know what? I like that. Yeah. You I ever like watch that already. Tele- you ever watch telenovelas? Yeah. All right. Um, what did you say? I grew Aaron? up like, on them. It's, um, it's four pages. Non-collaborative. Um, so it is. They can be collaborative. In different settings. In different settings. Okay. So everything takes place in a different setting. Um, They can be collaborative if you want. The whole goal is just to draw ideas of what firefighters might do in space. Or do you have like prompts for what the firefighters are doing in space for the telenovela? Um, Should we write this down? What? Um, Hold on. What the fuck? Hold on, Mo. Putting these ideas. Wait, can you can you write this on the panel? Do they have text field? I don't think so either. Um, Why don't we put it on the, on the top corner, just real small? I don't know if they have text. I don't think they have text field. Okay. Um, yep. Keep going. Keep going, Aaron. Um, maybe we should just drop them on the notes and then throw it up on uh, the Twitch. Yep. Okay, that's what we're going with. Yeah, we have the same idea. That's the best idea we can possibly get. So this is this is pretty much going to be crazy. It's going to be in a cafeteria. Okay. And there has to be uh, food being eaten. Okay. Food has to be eaten. You don't have to write it down. He's gonna he's gonna put it up on the prompt on the on the on the Twitch. Okay, so there's a conversation. There's food being eaten in the kitchen. Um, so a pet hat. Okay, um, from Earth or. So okay, we got alien pets possibly, or you can just choose like a cat. You know what? I got you on that. This is insane. Holy crap. Oh my god. So we need a we need a live eggplant. You know what? I got a plant eggplant. Or or a banana rice. monster. Like instead of like a normal place or like a cafeteria place that gives you food, it's like a talking plant. Like, oh, ain't I delicious? Ain't I delicious? Oh, yeah. Get this shit. Yeah. Come eat me. So that's gonna be the first panel. <laughs> okay. That is that's insane for a, a panel and Can like, we go a little bit dark? That's my question. 
Yeah, go go for it. It's a totally it's an adult swim concept art. You know what? I got you. I got you. Oh, oh my! Like, oh my God! Yeah, you should have been talking to a mic for the whole entire time. They're just hearing us say "yeah" and, and need to hear my reaction <laughs> to what you're saying the whole entire time. Um, okay, so I'm gonna give them prompts, and one of the prompts for panel one is gonna be in a dining hall. There is food that has to be in a conversation between people. A pet drinking water, and the food people get is by a live plant giving them the food. Like the server is a living plant, and they're eating the plant. Jesus. And panel two. It's going to have to be outside in outer space. So are you, you're already working on that? You're already, yeah. You're, okay, so. Because I've already got an idea. That's the awesome. Space fire. So it's outside dealing with space fire. What the fuck is a space fire? They, another thing that needs to be done is um, they need to replace the coolant so there's space for your coolant. There's coolant for some reason that needs to be replaced. So the coolant of the space vehicle needs to be replaced at the same time as the space fire? They need to refill the water thing, whatever, like the water pump. Like they need to refill the water pump to stop the space fire or whatever they throw at the space fire. They need to refill it. Okay. I'm, I'm down with this. I have a concept. I have a concept for this already. Yep, I'm seeing this. This is actually this is actually pretty going. This is going pretty well. Um, and there needs to be like a fire chief person. So homie, homie, definitely mad that he missing dinner. And then the last one is like, um, there's, there's, there's like a child in danger of the space fire if it doesn't get put out in time. That is insane. You know what? I like that. Like you said, we going dark. Panel three is going to be inside a bathroom. Inside a bathroom. Like a nice hot tub or something. With a nice hot tub. You see, you see amenities. Yeah. I'm talking this so far. Top, right, so it's going to be like a bunch of them in a tub, and they're going to be discussing uh, a fire that happened earlier that morning. Okay. Yeah, I'm loving this. I'm loving this so far. Okay. This is, these are wild ass concepts. You're fine with these? Grey's Anatomy cops? Yeah, yeah, one of those things. A drama comedy. Drama comedy. A drama comedy. Damn, I could work with this. And then the final thing should be um, the floor has a cool pattern. Okay. Panel four will be um, the main ship control room. Main ship control room, okay. There needs to be a prank being done on one of the fire people. Like a, I got your pants down sort of thing? And the pet needs to be eating candy. The pet needs to eat candy. And there needs to be an angry Oh my gosh. Okay. These are all things I think I can uh I can do. I can accept. Why can I see my drawing? Oh, that's because I'm still in the eraser tool. And then the last one. I think we're at four. Aren't we at four? Well, we're at four rooms, but I think I think I need four things for the main control room. Oh. They're all drinking a special kind of soda that only they can get on the ship. Only a special kind of soda only they can get.
Oh my oh. god. You were just gonna were, were you gonna pin it? Oh my god. I didn't even know you had a fucking cap for um how how long you can make a chat. That's crazy. But hey, that's the way of Twitch. Dude, you are getting really detailed with this eggplant. Yeah, because I wanted to be not necessarily detailed, but just simple in a way if that makes sense. Not too detailed, but just something that gets the point across. Like you really, you really understood the objective, and you just started going for it. I kind of understood the objective. Um, outer space dealing with a space fire refill the hose pump fire chief mad he's missing dinner and child in danger in space of space fire panel okay all right all right okay i guess i got i got this okay all right cool 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 the car i don't know how to draw space vehicles don't worry i got you on that as if you can understand rectangles, you can draw a space vehicle. If you can understand the rectangles. That's a trick, kids. Remember, <laughs> always draw rectangles, always draw spheres, remember the fundamentals, and you'll begin the art life. How, how did you how did you start art, bro? What did you start with? What was your what was your um Honestly, as soon as I came out the womb, I just painted Vincent Van Gogh. It was like, you know, simple. Really? I'm just playing though. <laughs> but um like in all seriousness though, it's just sort of um like how I really gained an interest in actually drawing was I grew up on like Warner Brothers, like I'm talking classics, like um like Tom and Jerry, um, let me see, Looney Tunes, like the old school stuff, and I used to watch Boomerang all the time, so um, couldn't really watch Cartoon Net like regular Cartoon Network, so I just stuck with the classics, and uh, yeah, that's really how I got my start. And actually, to this day, I still love animation because of it. So you're you're crediting Hanna Barbera? Hanna Barbera, like really, just the godfathers of animation too. Who are they? Oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. God, why am I blanking out on this? Um, Richard Williams was one of the newer Godfathers, but among those, it was, uh, let me see, Art Babbitt. Let me see. Um, let me see. God, why am I blanking out on this? I should know the Godfathers of animation. I can literally grew up with them. Like, you're Disney classic animators um like Glenn Keane um god another one um god I can't even think of any other animators that's funny it'll come back later but that's right now I can't remember not sure the, the, I mean the fact that you dropped those names I don't know what they worked on I don't even know what they're famous for so um oh, yeah if you funny. watch like Classic Pinocchio. Um, yeah. But let me see. Roger Rabbit. Let me see. That was them. Like the... Uh, well, I already said Looney Tunes. Uh, the County and the Roadrunner. Um, let me see. Just all the classics that you... When you think of cartoons, like Tom and Jerry, those are like... The people who were behind that, like just the godfathers of animation. Like I said, I can't name any of the top of my head for right now, but if anybody can drop any of the names in the chat, that would be real helpful. Yeah, I'm just not. a jog by memory. I don't. I've recognized the classics, but you were like, "Damn, this animation tough." I watch it cartoons. They do. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna be an animator. Yeah, 
I'm gonna do art. Actually, for a while, I did do stop motion animation. So I've sort of discovered it on my own, sort of. Um, like one day was I, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was ten years old in the house, nothing to do, and I was. I just asked my mom like, "Hey, um, what's that sort of animation style that they did for?" Wallace and Gromit, what was that called? And then she was like, look up stop motion animation. I'll never forget it. And ever since then, I just got my grandma's old camera. Um, yeah. Nick Park. Shouts out to Wallace and Gromit. Oh, she, yeah. Was she on Wallace and Gromit? No. Not to say. Oh, why'd you, what? A legend. Why'd you, why'd you, why'd you bring her up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He's a, he's a goat. Lotsi Renager, the German animator. Hmm. Lotsi Renager. Oh, yeah. Actually, surprisingly, I don't know much of his work. I would love to. Actually, after this stream, but. Yeah, I definitely love to look at some of his work. But actually, since we're naming animators, shout out to Greg Zilla because he's another phenomenal animator that I just names and gems that none of us. What what did he work on? Oh, as of recently, it's been a lot of independent projects. But um, Greg Zilla, um, he's on YouTube. Actually, the the things that I've watched most from him were his like animation doodles. But uh, he's done some other cool stuff on Instagram too. Greg Zilla. Yep, that's um, the main guy. Aaron, Aaron, you're gonna have to tell us a little bit about these firefighters. What's their What's their motivation? I'm having I'm having trouble grasping. Um, um, think of it like an oil break job. You know what I mean? Where you're like you're out for probably six months at a time, and then you're back home for a few months, and then you're back out or something like that. You know? Mm, yeah. So that's kind of what it's like. So they're they're definitely volunteers. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say volunteers, but. Probably not long enough to really get to know each other fully, unless it's like the same people each shift. Like each department six month departure, it's like you know what you're going with, and then you all go on vacation for a little bit, and then you come back together or something. But mm, okay, something like that. And uh, they get paid based on how well they put the fires out. So, hey, bro! Wow, it's not a competition. There's like there's no other organizations it's more like you can make your own fire thing if you want but like everyone who shows up is still going to get paid the same amount it's just how much the, of the money is going to go out based on how the thing was put out or whatever it was dealt with you know what i mean like yeah if it takes too long and you do more badly then all the fire departments all the people there are going to get paid that so theoretically you probably want to like team up with other fire departments to get stuff done real quick so you all and I'm assuming if people die, you know, that's like kind of like, don't let people die. Well, actually, if they die, you get paid more. What? Yeah, that should be a thing. Like, if you if people die, I mean, not, I'm not saying that in if, real if life. If they die, actually, but, you still get paid whatever you were paid, but each following paycheck for however old they were gets docked by that percentage. Whoa. So if they were like 12... For the next 12 paychecks, you get docked 12%. If they were like 80, for the next 80 paychecks, you Damn. get docked. 80%. I don't want this. I don't want Basically, this. Basically, you can't let old people burn. <laughs> Fuck them kids, but you ain't letting old people burn. <laughs> this law was specifically made by old people. <laughs> oh my God, bro. <laughs> they were like, you ain't letting me die in this nursing home. What in the hell is going on with society in this world? Something's definitely wrong. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, just killing babies just left and right? 
<laughs> Even for one paycheck? Like, no. Um, I'm concerned. Concerned? I'm calling CPS. You can call whoever you want. I don't think this world uh, <laughs> works off. I don't think they work off the same rules. They should. That would actually be a good idea. Jesus Christ. How did this dystopian future come about? Donald Trump was president again, and he forever changed the principles of mankind. Well, Nazimov uh, got together and see the power of Grayskull? friendship oh. and extreme <laughs> corporate takeovers of many countries. Um, it was with their grace and power that they unified all social services in a very interesting way. Oh my God! In order to promote the, the living of the wealthy, uh, old and wealthy, they had to make some interesting uh, regulations. But for the most part, uh, old living is pretty nice. It's just you gotta hope you get that far. So oh okay, so like pretty good retirement. Yeah, you just you better hope you don't like die in the space fire as a kid, which. Now that everyone kind of lives in space between different planets and moons, it's very likely. That you're going to die in a space fire. Or some kind of space accident, yes. It just fire seems to be the only ones you maybe will survive from. Most of the other ones include like collisions and massive explosions and things like that. So, unless you get attacked by like snake walruses, but. Snake I mean, walruses. Space walruses. Space snake walruses. walruses would be wild too. <laughs> Like oh, imagine snake imagine walruses. walruses. Those big tusks. Oh my god. That would be like <laughs> the like, coolest like animal. Like an alligator. Like it just does those quick twists and like <laughs> rolls. That would be, be the insane. coolest animal. I, I want to keep that as a pet. I'd be like Mike Tyson. I, I don't care if it's going to kill me or not. Yeah, no. Not me. He said, not what happened to my part. snake walruses? <laughs> not me, though. I don't know what well, the fuck y'all is. They, y'all they, they took my snake walruses. Now I'm going to knock somebody out. Hey, bro, what are you doing while Desmond's here? And you heard that impressive news of Wait, what? What would you do if Mike Tyson just heard that impersonation and he was offended? And he was offended? You know what? Mike Tyson can come to my house right now. Why are you saying this? I mean, let's be honest. Even if he like, came and beat him up. Exactly. Got Mike Tyson to come to your exactly. House. I don't care if he gives me like three thousand bruises. I'm still gonna look at that moment and say, you know what? Mike Tyson came to my house and beat me up. All right? That's a story for the rest of your life. I got the shit knocked out of me by Mike Tyson. He exactly. Came to my house. Like he crippled my life. I couldn't walk for like. <laughs> yeah, like I, 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 I may have gotten paralyzed, but I I don't care. That in Nova I'm gonna be living like. Professor Xavier for the rest of my life. Hey, hey, I don't care. Uh, having to communicate with Stephen Hawking. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that robot shit. I remember when I was a young kid. Art really made me a happy boy. And then Mike Tyson came to my house. <laughs> Can be the living day shit. I could talk anytime I wanted to. But, but I keep this robot voice to make me sound cool. Like everyone has a rain camera too, so you'd have like seven different angles from the neighborhood of Mike Tyson coming up oh to your porch. Oh my god! <laughs> just, not... just gonna be replaying me. on TMZ it's like just... every two years. Like imagine. Uh, remember when Mike Tyson came and he just beat the shit out of that kid? That is why I'm so happy we're not like kids now. Now that like everyone's got fucking cameras in their homes, oh, like, exactly. Like, you yeah. can't do shit. You fall off your bike once in the neighborhood, and now there's like every street has it. Fuck that. I'd be in jail, bro. Yeah, I'd definitely be in jail. Oh, oh, you yeah. know what? I threw rocks at houses. It was yeah. very fun. Oh my god! I definitely. I would be... Throwing rocks at houses. Yeah, you either ding dong ditch them or you threw stuff. I couldn't fun. even think about throwing rocks. Oh, it's quite easy. I, mean, imagine, I know it's easy. <laughs> imagine one of those it's spheres you were talking about earlier. 
And then imagine it like going through the air through the propulsion of your body. Oh my god. Like, no. I don't know why I'm spending so much time on this man right here. Like, he's clearly enjoying this sandwich. I'm, I'm not giving any time to uh, the people around him. Like, I, I don't know. I gotta I've just got one person. I, I I just got one person. He is crushing this. I ain't gonna lie. He's crushing this. Yeah, I'm trying the best I can. But I just gotta get the rest of the people on. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. Yeah, you ain't getting it. Oh. I don't even think he's eating anything right now. I think this might be part of the background, though. Actually, I got a plan. You know what? I've got a plan. You know what? We're, we're going to go to his house. Take all the pigeons. Just gonna get all the the snake walruses too. It's gonna be amazing. Did you ever see the? You watch Ken Peel? Yeah. You ever seen the skit <laughs> where like he's the boxer and like? He, That's my favorite he gets skit. Married, like the gay boxer. That's my favorite skit. Oh my god. Oh you know what? We're going to go for a couple of drinks afterwards. I'm going to take you down to my house. And then right when you're in that moment, I'm going to fuck you right in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I love, and then like, I did a date with other people. And that's when I was telling them, I'm going to fuck you right in the ass right there. And he, did, he, did, he did it right there on the table. <laughs> so they're like dinner parties and shit. <laughs> We're going to get it all together. We're going to go. We're oh. going to watch TV in Lifetime. <laughs> Don't uh, even get me started on A. A. Ron. <laughs> Where is A. A. Ron at? Man, that's, I'm so blown. They, they um, they brought him back for like a commercial for one of those streaming platforms. Wait, what? Yeah, it's like. What was this? Let me guess. 2021. If I get this right, I'm old. One million Twitch bucks. One million Twitch bucks coming exactly. right up. All right, guys, he's he's put it in there. Yeah. One million. Twitch so bucks. it dropped six days ago by Paramount Plus, five point three million views. Oh shit! <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. That dude is a fool. Bro, when they I, I remember when they canceled it, I had to watch that final episode. I was like, no, this can't be real. It? I thought they just stopped. Well, it no, canceled. it wasn't canceled. That that was the final season. I wanted to do so much more. Yeah. And then they went back. I was like, no, this can't be it. No. It was smart of them to cancel. They're doing great. They have like five seasons of the Yeah. 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 We're doing too fucking much in that show. It was funny as a kid. Oh, what? Was... Mad TV? Yeah. Oh, yeah. As a kid, it was real funny. As an adult, I almost feel like some of them actually kind of kid shows. Like, I feel like it should have been like. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I want to say that they made. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I want to say that they made a Cartoon Network show based yeah. off of Mad. And then the, the kid that was on there went on to. Uh, he was Morris Chestnut's son. He went on to do a lot of stuff. Wait, what? And then the other kid that was on that tele... Um, he's the guy that played... <laughs> <laughs> he, went on to, um, he went on to play the, the dude in Dope. Um, and then also in The Get Down. Yeah, kid. Morris Chestnut was, the, uh, was Ricky in Boys in the Hood. Yeah. Um, and then... <laughs> Which is a classic. The, you gotta watch it. the kid that was in the show, he played um, Finn. 
um, the voice actor for Finn. Oh in yeah, Adventure he Time. um, uh, the Incredible Crew was also a good TV show. He he was in it. Yeah, it was Nick Cannon's idea. What? Yo, what a yeah. name! The Incredible Crew. No, just more. I, I should have known. A lot of shirts with him. A lot of pictures with him without a shirt on, though. But yep. Jesus Christ, that's more chestnut. This is not. Oh, I thought you were talking about Nick Cannon. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised though. Did you see that um that recent meme that they made on um the this is what the National Geographic found that Nick Cannon's kids are gonna look like in the next yeah thirty years. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh my god, it was freaking awesome, man. <laughs> It was hilarious. I was worried. Are are you afraid of the Nick Cannon kid apocalypse? I wouldn't say afraid. It kind of seems like it's. I like, would say concerned. It kind of seems like it's like our end time, you know. Like it might it, it might does. seem like the coming of the of of of, of the cannons of the Antichrist. Cause like the Bible never says what it is, they never say what it is. So like, what if it's a bunch of like Nick Why Cannon seed? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. They just made it that. Um, I don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> we were talking about Morse chest chestnut at first, and then we were talking about Nick Cannon. And then now we came out to, with his kids uh, for some reason. I don't. I'm not sure why. But either way, this is going hilarious right now. I believe so. Um, I feel like I'm doing fairly well with my uh, firefighter. I'm still on the same eggplant, and I have not added a single person in yet. I'm. I'm doing like outlines and like. Doing like brief. Yeah. Hold on. This is this is difficult. I ain't gonna lie. Designing concept art is difficult as shit. Yeah, salute to all the concept art people. We Facts. know your struggle now. Y'all, y'all been. Does your eggplant have a penis? What is that? No, that's that's the children. Does your eggplant have Wait, a penis? Wait, pa <laughs> hey, Mo. You pause on that. Does your eggplant have a penis? That's just, I, 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 it's like all right. You know what? Let me rephrase that. Like kids coming out, of it. like full grown eggplant. Yo, that do it. not put that on Twitch. Do not do it. <laughs> <laughs> do not. <upload. laughs> hey, do not show. His, Go go to my image. <laughs> go to my image right now. <laughs> and so he fixes whatever the fuck is going on. All right, you know what? I changed it. I think I've got it better now, but I I changed it. No, that is still a dick. That is an eggplant baby. All right. Do not go to his thing. That is an eggplant baby. Do not you know what? What if I added a highlight? How about that? <laughs> My fucking thing reset. I was on the hair and it fucking reset for some reason. I don't know why. What the fuck? You know what? Darker shadows. That's all it needs. Darker shadows and a clear separation of who's the boss. If the it isn't Melissa Milano? Is. Wait, what? Who's the boss if it isn't Melissa Milano? No, it isn't. I'm sorry, Alyssa Milano. I, I love Charmed, but... What? You are not the boss. She was in charm? Yeah. Like she was the main she was one of the main characters in it. And you gonna ask if she was in charm. Mm -mm -mm. I never watched it. Oh my gosh. You gotta watch it. It's it's a requirement. I'm not watching Charmed. You got to. After I said it, you have to watch Charm. I'm a grown man. Yes, and grown men still watch Charmed. No, they don't. Yes, I do, because I am one of those grown men that still watch Charmed. It's a TV show. 
Like one of the best and underrated, just as good as Supernatural. Maybe even better. He's capping. I'm not capping. He's capping. If I'm capping, call me uh Oh my gosh. I did not just hear this. I did not just hear this. Everybody knows Charmed. You've offended him. What was that? You've offended our guest. <laughs> Again. <laughs> you know what? I'm not even going to leave. I'm just going to educate them. She got like a sunburn. Some. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to let you sit here and talk about the cast like this. Are they vampires? Nah, they're witches. They're witches. That's the... Yeah. That's what they yeah. You know what? I will say this. It was. At like times. My cousin would watch it sometimes, and I'd just be so freaking annoyed. I thought like, you said you didn't know it. I didn't yeah, watch see? it. I didn't watch it. I heard it in the background like a couple times. It was a bad version of Sex and the City because none of them, none of them were doing anything. No, 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 <laughs> no dropping, no dropping the draws. Nothing like their relationship sucked too. There was never any side boob. It was, it was a very bad show. I said, "What you got? All these um, pretty." We're not gonna get in that. Wait, what? We're not gonna get into that. We're not gonna get into that. I caught myself. <laughs> caught myself. PR team. PR team helped me out. Caught myself. Sometimes the PR so team. You said it's an here. eggplant buffet. So, even the bread is eggplants. That's what you're saying. Yeah, it really could have been whatever. That would be dope. That would be crazy. Yeah, that's weird. exactly what trees are. Things for us to smoke. What? For getting by. Oh, oh yeah, sure. giving uh the reason why we have oxygen now. What? Pretty much. You got your oxygen from a plant? We all do. That's nature's way. I get my oxygen from I get my oxygen from space. Well, you know what? I get my oxygen from a tank. Yeah. Like killer clowns? No, like the space we're sitting in right now. Like I'm just I'm just doing a Yes. As a kid, it scared the fuck out of me. I'm I'm gonna say that right now. It scared the living hell out of me. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Like, I watched that as a kid. I was obsessed with it, but I could not. That was one of the other shows that made me, like, freak out at night. Crows. Oh, I never saw Crows. I never saw Crows. I, I still need to see it, though. Um, when I was young, the movie was... Um Damn, I can't remember. I really can't remember what movie freaked me out. Oh, nah, I, I, yeah, I do. The Grudge, bro. Which one was The Grudge? The Grudge was crazy. I did not like The Grudge. Yeah, it was it was terrifying. It scared it scared the shit out of me. Yeah. Oh, what? Are you serious? You're lying. Oh, see? Digit HXI knows what I'm talking about. What? He said he watched Charm when I was a kid on TNT. 
Oh, yes, digits. That's a in real this one. Bro. What's good, that digit? That's a real one. I thought the bucket hat was a fro. Oh, snap. He thought your hat was a fro. Well, I mean, funny enough, I do have a fro underneath. So, yeah. TNT. So, everybody was just watching Charmed and, yeah. like, I just. You're just late to the game. Well, I didn't care. I was watching cartoons. I was watching Naruto and, like, other shit. I never grew up. Uh, funny enough, I didn't get into Naruto until I was, like, what? 24. 16, 17. Mm -hmm. Still never got into it. Oh, my gosh. Good. Actually, I'm watching One Piece right now. I, I already said that in the goated. last podcast, but I One have to Piece say it again. Cody, if you are not watching One Piece, get you're on it right living. now. You're not. If you're not watching One Piece, what are you doing with your life? Get on all 1,000 episodes right now. It's worth it to a degree. You know what? I don't care if you're helping out your grandma out her wheelchair right now. Like, go out, watch, watch One, One Piece. Piece. It's the best. Watch One Piece. Go, go get a job application. Exactly. Watch One Piece. Really, take take your take your chain, take your chain, take it off, take it off, and and go watch One Piece. Yeah, because everybody needs to watch One Piece. You're not if you aren't watching One Piece. You ain't living. I'm You're sorry. Not, you ain't living. You ain't living. You ain't doing shit right. That three sword style though. That the son told you. Oh my gosh! I already knew Zoro was gonna do some uh something good. Well, not to the villains, of course, but to everybody else, yeah, it it was. Some do you think cool you shit. think Zoro's racist? No. Why Why does he only hunt down uh, darker skinned people? Hey, you know what? That's just because of the writer. Actually, funny enough, I have not seen any. I, I think that was only for like one episode. You think it's a? You think it's a? You think it's a made up? No, it was this guy. You think it's a made-up concept that the? Um... It's a made-up concept. I think it's a conspiracy. You think it's a conspiracy that frames Zoro? Yes, I think the government really loves Zoro, uh -huh. but they want to keep it a secret. So they're trying everything in their power just to hide that fact. Just to hide the fact that Zoro's racist. Exactly. Oh wait. Well, no, 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 no. See, you you almost <laughs> caught me slipping. You almost caught me. I, I see what you're doing. Okay. Hey, Mo, this, we've got. Uh, I didn't do anything. Piece, uh, we got a Zoro hater right here. I don't hate Zoro. down Zoro. I don't hate Zoro. I just think like maybe he's a little. Racially motivated. He ain't racially. I, I'm going to say it right now. Maybe he, he knows who the threats are. Racially motivated. And he goes after the threats. Yeah, sure. He goes after the right threats. He don't go after... Uh, He's he's not racially motivated. I'm going to say that. How do you know? Because I know. Okay? So... We are literally... We have birthdays one day apart from each other. Okay? That's sort of... Synchronization is only like once in a lifetime. Okay. So because you share birthdays, you're going to let this man slide with his whole entire like plethora of black bodies. He ain't got no black bodies. Darker skin bodies. Wow. Non, non white okay. bodies. So killing a fish man, that's racially motivated. I think so. Wow. You know what? I don't even know why I'm on this podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I might as well just leave. Mm -mm -mm. They talking bad about Zoro. I don't know how I feel about that. Listen, I'm fine if he is. It's just I'd rather people just be upfront about it. You know what? I'm going to be upfront and say this. Yeah? Zoro is not racist. How do okay? you know? Because I, because I don't. It's a a breastfeed? Uh, oh, 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 no, it's not. It's an octopus lineup specifically for breastfeeding that is very specialized. You want to know something crazy about octopuses? They can actually Our blend octopi? into their environment. So, apparently, like, they'll get a bunch of fish together to hunt for them. And if a fish gets out of line, they'll just punch it. Like, they'll just pimp slap the shit out of it. Like, they'll oh, my just gosh. Like you can look up tons of videos of, of octopuses. Just so like you're telling me octopuses the are the original pimps out here? That's yeah, what pimps no. got there. And they're known they're known to brawl. Like they, they don't they oh, don't yeah. they'll, they'll just punch things for the fun of it. Like a fish will swim by and they'll just punch fish. And scientists haven't figured out why they randomly just punch fish that aren't theirs, but they just 
And the fish, for some reason, the fish, like, they'll just work for the octopus. Like, eventually, like, the violence or the abuse just becomes an innate learned trait that they just deal with. And it kind of becomes like a domestic... <laughs> Oh a domestic violence like oh kind of like god. Stockholm <laughs> syndrome and the fish just kind of deal with it oh my god and they kind of just feed the octopus and if they if they mess up and they don't hunt right the octopus is he gets on them and the octopus also has like his favorites like he'll have his favorite fish that he won't hit and then he'll have his favorite his fish that just they, they get the most now they'll they're known to um swim with like a school of fish like up to like five to eight fish and have them all feeding at a time, and he'll just keep them around as like I don't know if he uses them as like um as like as bait as bait or like body doubles or something. Oh snap! I think my thing just closed. Uh oh. Oh my gosh! Control Shift T. I don't know how to pull back up on website after it closes. Just go back to the browser, and then it should. Yeah, I, I did control shift T. Oh. Tom main right. Time to get a new computer? Mm hmm. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Okay, there we go. It's control less menacing shift now. T. Oh, shit. And we're back at it. All right. And we're back in the game, everybody. Hey. All all the tabs reopen. Everything is back up. Zoro Hater is back in the chat. Oh my god. I don't <laughs> hate Zoro. I just want people to be honest about his his um his obvious, I would say very obvious discrimination towards certain characters. There is not any discrimination towards mm, certain okay, characters. Whatever. We're just gonna deny it. Hey, you know what? It's only characters that look like Huina. And that's it. I. You remember the name of his um, high school crush? It wasn't his. He barely was in elementary school when she died. I don't know why I said elementary like that, but yeah, it's true. Look it up. Do your research. Why she die again? She fell. Yeah, she fell on some stairs. That was the stupidest way to die. <laughs> 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 she died dumb. <laughs> Like she slipped on a banana peel on the steps and then she <laughs> she <laughs> fucking tumble. cracked her neck. <laughs> and she was like, the sh yeah, I'm not even lying. She took like a tumble, bro. Exactly. And it, it was wild because like she was like one of the strongest little kids out of the group. And she was going to be like a great swordsman. Even gymnasts tumble better than that. And like her father, like she was, she was really trying to break. And then one day he just walks in. She did. He said, what? Uh, he was, he was actually working out just for your information. Okay. He was working out, and then a couple of his classmates was like, dang, she did. I'm sorry, Zora, but she did. One of the worst ways to find out that your friend is dead is through your other childhood friends. They, they weren't even they are not. They, that they, they, they not even, they're not gentle about it. They didn't it. even believe in him. Let's be real about that. And then all of a sudden, oh, I'm the number one bounty hunter and pirate in the, uh, the East Coast. Now I'm going to go... Uh, you know what? I, I'm a clean Zora as my friend. That's that's all. That's all that they did. Let's be real about it. Since we being real, Zora ain't have no real friends, which is a sad life to live. Shit, when you number one and you the number one power hundred, fuck it, you a op. Cause what he out there catching bodies for in the first place? Why he being a hater? If being a power hunter, yeah, op. He nothing but a narc. What you exactly right about that? Yeah, I know I'm right. I guess he was or not. Yeah, but you know yeah, what? He's why he only I will love forever. I don't care. This was why he only hunts down darker skinned people. Nope. Even the creator of One Piece even said, if Zoro had a real had a job in modern day age, he would be a cop. You know you what? Can look that up. You I want to see up. it right now. You can I want to see up. it. You want right to see that? Now. Yeah, I want to see it. Video evidence. Uh, okay, I guess we're looking. These transactions. Okay, I guess we're looking it up. That's cool. Um, I wish we had somebody in the chat to look this shit up. But, uh, we probably do. Zoro. We don't pay him enough. Would be a cop. In volume 76 of the manga, question and answer column, Ichiro Oda revealed that if Zoro had not become a pirate, he actually would have become a police officer. 
that was forged. That was <laughs> it's, a, it's on Reddit. It's everywhere. It's that would be forged. The, it's in the main volume. Everybody knows this. Well, not me. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what to tell you, bro. <laughs> Maybe it might be time to consider that uh, he might be an op. He's not an op. Okay. He'd probably make a good cop, but he is not an op. Zoro would to the cop. You will be walking down the street and Zoro will beat your shit in. I don't care. Shoot, it's Zoro. He could slice me into salami for all I care. What? Why are you so ready to die for this man? Because. Do you know, bro? I do know, bro. Like I said, we have the, almost you the same. You can survive. Birthday. You can survive. All you have to do is just like get lost and he can't find you. You have to just give no, him directions. It's vice like, versa. You have to just give he him. would have to get lost. Make no, him feel lost. You, you would just have to give, him, give him directions. And he'll and he'll and he'll go away and be lost forever. Like you can legit beat him by giving him directions. I know that. That's why I'm gonna put him in a maze and then give him directions. And it's not gonna be like one of those easy. Give him mazes the right too. directions too. You can't you can't make up directions because you give him the wrong directions, he's getting out. But you give him the right directions, he's never getting out of it. I know. I said, I dedicated my life to the One Piece. I, I dedicated myself to it. Um, that's a very uh, weird thing to dedicate yourself to. I breathe One Piece. Okay. I live One Piece. All right. I am the One Piece. All right. Uh, what do you think is One Piece? It's probably just gonna be like one thing. I'm, I'm gonna be real about it. It 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 probably wasn't even something worth looking for in the first place. Uh. <laughs> and since Ace don't have no daddy, that's more of a reason to disown him. Like I'm gonna be real about it. The only reason why Luffy even wants to go is because he wants to be the greatest pirate. But technically, he is also related to um. To uh, Gold Roger, technically. Oh, because of the D. Nah. What was that? Because of Ace. Oh. More wild than National Geographic. <laughs> I'm missing dinner. I love dinner. Because of this. What? I'm going to be real about it. Dinner. If you don't like dinner, then something. You, you need some help. Get some help real quick. But actually, I completely Maybe understand that. Maybe if you don't like dinner, it's because you're not having it. Some people only get to have sleep. They don't get to have dinner. They, just, they get to have sleep. That is true. Yeah. Kids all across America know that struggle. Yeah, they haven't sleep for breakfast. <laughs> haven't sleep for breakfast, haven't sleep for dinner. They go to school, they get a little bit of food in them. And it's right back right back to the to the hamster wheel. Exactly. Just sleep, 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 sleep. And then your mother wonders why you always sleep all the time. Because you fed me sleep. That's not exactly my point. But it's the way of life. So we have to be strife. Are you rhyming? Of course I'm rhyming. Okay. Better get me a fork. Okay. Because I ain't timing. Oh, I don't know what that means. What does that bar even mean? What does it mean? To be lean? Like this eggplant's hair, it's got to be green. You're exactly the reason why I hated listening to... Um... Fetty Wap? No, I, I hated <laughs> listening to uh, Muhammad Ali Ron. People like Joe Frazier hey, make medicine Tell me about this dude right here. How did he get here? What, what happened with him? What's going on? So um, he was supposed to be um, plugging in the hose... To uh, get to get the water to go 
into the fire fire truck fire truck thing and like to go into the to the nozzle up here they're like there's a there's a weird nozzle that's supposed to be spewing out water and as you can see like it's it's kind of like spewing out water but it's not it's kind of like stopped and yeah and he's supposed to be trying to connect it but i guess it wasn't connected when he put it in so it's kind of just projected him outward yeah he's um he's he's definitely being flung at the moment and then the other um astronauts or or firefighters they're kind of just like they're kind of they're kind of pissed off about it they're not nobody's having a good time today and it's um it's not a good thing because it's like why did you turn the water on if it wasn't connected because i wanted some water that's why Um, so there's a ship and it's, it's kind of on fire as you can tell, tell from the smoke, we'll get a little bit of black in there going. Um, yeah, it's on fire. Um, there's, there's some passengers in there and they're like, you know, like save me, I'm a passenger or something. There's a little kid and, um, he needs help. He needs to get out of the ship because it's, it's definitely on fire. It's definitely going to blow. It's not a good look. And yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, he's like, help. And then you have the police chief and the police chief is, um, he's a fire chief and he, did I say police? I'm, yeah, I keep getting the show we're working on. Um, he's, he's very pissed off about this. He is, um, he's like, I'm missing dinner because of this. And they don't want the kid to die, but also it doesn't really matter if the kid dies because it's not really much off their paycheck, but it's kind of, he's more concerned about his dinner and he really wants to have dinner. Yeah. Not a, not a great day right now in space. And, and it's not easy being a firefighter in space. Um, you have to deal with a lot of things like um, the gravitational pull or, or thrust of water being projected for miles, and you you can't get really close. Here's the thing: you can't really you can't get close to um, spaceships that are on fire, um, because if they explode or something, that shockwave would kill your whole crew. So you kind of have to like just project water from like a really far distance, huh? The explosion kind of like ripples and all kind of like, if you have firefighters, huh? Space, doesn't it, doesn't, don't. Wouldn't it just die now? I mean, everything freezes in space anyway, so I mean. Oh. I mean, electrical fires too. So what happens when stuff blows up? Oh, well, you can't really get close because you don't want debris hitting your um, space crew and everything else. The higher, the further away, the higher the chances of your crew surviving are, is. So some firefighters, they just kind of like, they park themselves a little, probably like 100,000 100, 100, kilometers away from. <laughs> a thousand, a thousand kilometers away from, from the space, uh, from the space fire. Making this bullshit up, I'm not an astrophysicist. <laughs> yeah. More miles? <laughs> and then she's just like, fuck! <laughs> yeah, um... Space stuff is very, is very difficult to, um... To know about, yeah. It definitely is. It's interesting. It's, yeah. For it's, sure. But it's for sure. Difficult. I don't I know. I don't know anything about astrophysics. During during um doing a show in space, there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's just wrong. Neil deGrasse Tyson is gonna be very pissed off if he ever watches an episode of this. Cause there's gonna be so much shit that's wrong. Like I might even just put him in an episode and one day they're just 
they just have their helmets off and they're just talking in space and they're just like, hey, your helmet's off. And he's like, oh yeah, I forgot. He just puts it back on. But like all the facts he gives is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> like he, he purposely is correcting people, but he's still wrong in it. <laughs> Like well, someone has to be thermodynamics like thermodynamics. They're like, why don't, we get, why don't we get cold whenever we're out here? How come we don't have like heaters in our suit? He said, like, Well, as long as you keep heat contained inside the suit, <laughs> you should be good. <laughs> He's like, but that's that's not how thermodynamics works. He said, like, bitch, I'm a firefighter. I know how thermodynamics work. <laughs> I don't know shit about um about Star Trek. Space. Star Trek video game is that? What are you doing? It. Uh. I'm not solving shit. I ain't doing puzzles. You can't make me do puzzles. I'm not. I'm not doing shit though. Wait, what? Oh, you know. Okay, you know we got a little bit. We got a little bit of uh, we got a little bit of murder. Everybody, murder, murder. Um, what, what uh, what system? Everything. Maybe uh, fuck me. Big Mac. Steam Deck. My my. Your Switch. My Switch. Today. For what? Oh, we're at a meeting. If I have to do these meetings, you have to do these meetings. How else are we gonna become president of what bridge? Um, so yeah, uh, I think I'm done with my concepts. I think so. I think I gave up on mine. You started off so sort well. Of. What else do you have to do? I think I just have to add one more thing to this one to make it complete. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start helping you. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Hold up. <laughs> Eat my children. Or, like, or eat Double my children. children. Feast upon their innards. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I should actually add that. I'm just going to create a table. So we're we're doing a collaborative piece because um I think I'm gonna start erasing just the eyes. Nothing right. else, just the eyes. Is that the cat? That is that the is that the, the creature? Yeah. The so. creature that we're going to be having drink the milk Ooh. of life. Of life. His name should be uh That's an excellent name. His first name should be Flat, though. What? Yeah, Flat Stanley. Stanley. Yeah, I get it. But, like, why? Because who wouldn't want to name their cat Flat Stanley? Plus, cat? you know, it rhymes. Cat Flat Stanley. We're, de def we're definitely making this a cat. It's definitely a cat. Yep, it is. It's great. It's always a fucking cat. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of prejudiced against cats. I only like fat ones. I don't like the skinny ones. Honestly, I would rather get a... I grew up on pit bulls. So I don't want anything other than a pit bull. You got a pit bull? Had a pit bull. Mm. What happened to it? She unfortunately passed away. Oh, sorry some to hear time that. Ago. But sorry it's to fine, hear. though. It's fine. It's just human nature, right? Uh... I mean, not she wasn't human. I mean, well, yeah. I mean, just nature. Just life. Yes, yeah. life happens. 
four infants were found dead in Boston. Wait, what? Nice. Is this a real topic or is this? Yeah. NPR oh eight gosh. hours ago, police find the remains. Actually, not the bodies. Of four infants inside a Boston apartment. Oh my gosh. Just I'm, why are there so many infants? Yeah, I'm kind of scared. Because it's kind of like that, um, you know that one, that one joke, what's worse than finding 20 babies in a trash can? And it's like finding one baby in 20 trash cans. Who in their right mind is going through 20 fucking trash cans? Nobody's doing that. My bad. I'm not doing that. Meant to do. You know what's worse than finding 20 babies in one trash can? Finding five babies in five trash cans. Oh my god. Uh. 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 Are you like hiding layers? Or four babies in seven trash cans. No, I'm trying to. I don't want to talk about any more dead babies in trash cans. Nice. You made it. I see what you did. I see what you did, my good sir. Why is this not? Why, why can't I see the rest of the uh, thing? The thing. The layers. The layers. Yeah, I'm trying to find. Trident. You know what we should do uh, next time? We should have like a uh, um, Dolly two AI thingy draw some stuff. Yeah, and, and then, then we, we just all have to like fill it in. Fill it in, and then we throw it back at the AI, and then it fills in another. P- and it's like a, it's like a race. Yeah. Well, we can't keep doing it. But like, you know, one Actually, can you uh, can you put layer eight below layer four? I can't do it from my thing. So there you go. Thank you. So I'm trying to add the shadows. Yeah. I don't know. Ghost yeah. of Christmas Pass. It might be the ghost. Cupquakes. Cupquakes. You're right, Mom. Yeah. Everyone loves dead infants. Yeah, this... It's the like fact... The Republican Party, right? The fact that he just walked into that is, is kind of crazy that you just kind of read that off as Mo came in. Boston Wild, bro. Imagine if he could have turned on the Boston Marathon one. <laughs> oh, I'm home for my lunch break. Let's just see what's up. Oh, that that kind of like <laughs> kind of blow my mind. Oh my god. Oh snap! What happened in, in drawing three? What's this? That was the uh, fire people in the tub discussing a fire. I was gonna do something with that. Um, actually, huh. Um, should we explain the prompts one more time? I'll show the art. Uh, I think we should. All right. And action. All right, Aaron. Uh, explain away. What? Oh, I thought you were going to explain. Yes. Panel one is going to be in a dining hall with food being eaten and conversations with people. There's still not a conversation happening with someone, by the way. A pet drinking water. We see we have a kitty cat down there, I believe, right over here. He's a little kitty cat. And then we also need um, da, 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 da. Da, 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 uh, getting food off a live plant. This big eggplant feeding these little big plants. Uh, and then panel two is in outer space. Fighting a fire. Uh, they need to refill the hose, pump, and the fire chief is mad. He's missing dinner, and there's a child in danger. We see he's angry. Child dying. These people doing stuff. And then prompt number three was inside a bathroom where it's like this big group hot tub type thing, and all the firefighters are in as they discuss the day and watch police dramas on the television. And I think the one of the prompts was that the floor was very pretty. Or something like that. 
And then number four is in the main ship control room with a prank being done on someone. Uh, uh, a pet eating candy and a person that's on the big screen TV mad that they didn't put fire out well. And they're all drinking a special soda. Those are our problems. Um, I gave I gave the dude a sandwich. It's a really good looking sandwich. That is the best sandwich I have ever seen. Yeah. I'm going to say that right now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just some really good sandwiches. But actually it needs one final touch. Oh, you're gonna add you're gonna add something to the sandwich? Nah, I'm gonna add something to uh the text right here. Hold up. I'm gonna make it all cap. No cap. Like LeBron in every interview he's in. Oh yeah. LeBron be capping. That's Anybody exactly know why LeBron caps? What's good, Mo? You know, we just in this bitch um, doing some painting with friends type shit. Um, hey, man, we're finally moving on to that digital virtual reality magazine. So we're going to need your involvement in this joint and in this digital art gallery that we're putting together. It's going to be a whole faganza of interactive magazine goodness and showing people art and technology. LeBron, a generational liar. And generational capper. He definitely is. He's a whole he's a whole different type of capper Nick. Kaepernick stood for the truth. LeBron uh stands for the lie. Yep. The man or in this case sits for the lie. He kinda sits, yeah. Every interview he's in, he's always sitting. Why of course, I mean why does he? Why does he need the need? Why does he find the need to lie? Maybe to make anybody the story discovered a lot it. Interesting. But like, if that's not your life, why? Why are you? Why are you telling people that? Does he just want to seem normal? Like he just does normal people I stuff because he doesn't so. have time to be normal to himself. I think that it's possibly sociopathic dissociative disorder. Hmm. He thinks LeBron has sociopathic um, I don't know what you said I'm gonna be honest Yeah I, I completely made that up Oh Like Uncle Ruckus I thought you knew Vitiligo. Huh <laughs> I thought he I thought he knew everybody I thought he was actually like Dropping gems See That was Cat Hey for short Keep me posted We definitely gonna keep you posted Mo. Well how's it going by the way How was your um food day? You had a food day? Yeah, last weekend. Last week. Thanks for Thanksgiving Day where everyone eats food and stuff, you know? Oh you made a cheesecake. I thought we had a food day. I was getting ready to say. Also, speaking of food day, I forgot about for the friends feast, what was the prompt again? Like they have to it has to be an appropriated gist, but like it's like a blend between different dishes or some shit. What? I don't for the friends feast, December seventeenth. Yeah, what was the for what we're making? Uh, yeah, it's like it's like we have to come up with a dish. The dishes are like a blend of cultures, or you're blending different cultures of food together, or some shit. Been good. Working and chilling. Um, so so it was like it was like the idea of like mixing, mashing um, foods or some shit to to make something. Oh, we shouldn't do that. We should just have them bring, bring their best dish. But what if? I don't want to give people. I don't want to tell people what to bring. I just want. I just want. You can bring something. Like, what if? What if we all bring? Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, what, that that would be fine if everybody brought dessert. I don't care. Yeah, if everybody brought dessert, I'd be fine with it. I'm gonna still eat a cake. I'm gonna try a different cake, and then I'm gonna try all sorts of different cakes. And oh, yeah. like, and if one person decides to bring chicken wings, then it's just chicken wings, and 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 it's all sorts of cake day. What kind of chicken wings though? I don't know. It's up to them. 
I'm gonna get some from Wingstop. Okay. Actually, I, did you <laughs> did y'all hear about that uh that new Wingstop sandwich? The Impossible sandwich. I don't know what it's called, but I just know it's a. Is it real chicken? I think it's it's real chicken. I'm not sure how they do it, but yeah. We're learning. Yeah, that's what these streams are for, kids. I guess we're learning. Learning, learning, and more learning. I guess that's what... Facts. It's like what sheets does, you know? Like you just like uh, get an answer and you can like sauces or like other things. Like you can just get a hammer. I haven't had sheets before. I'm gonna come on stream and say I have never had sheets before. Dude, we can just end the stream now. Just <laughs> end the stream now. Sheets like for what? Only Why? sheets I've had were in the sheets, okay? What does that mean? I've, I've, wait, I came out wrong, but y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know exactly what I'm saying you when I said. <laughs> no, I'm no, like, I don't so understand, bro. I'm, Keep John I'm running away from this man. <laughs> Yo, you know what? I, I've, I've never had fried Oreo, I'm going to be honest. I know I'm from like I'm from Virginia. I've never had fried Oreo. I've had fried Oreo at least twice. No, there's no fried Oreo at Taco Bell. Fried Oreo? No. Yeah, there was like a food I truck. I would I would remember if we had like fried Oreo. <laughs> Yo, it, you know how. You know how mad I would be if I had fried Oreo and I don't recall it? And that's like that's like on my list of things to try eventually. Exactly. I don't know what that means. I don't I don't understand it. I don't get it. You just dip some Oreos in the batter. You take that battered Oreo, dip it in some Oreo. I mean dip it in some oil. And then after a certain amount of time you take it out, then you have your fried Oreo. That's it. Yeah. I've never fried anything. It's almost like making donuts, except I've the donut batter is already on the Oreo. That's exactly how never, it is. Never, oh, never fried. Never fried a single thing. In the deep fryer? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's, that's always good. Actually, I've been using more of that. Never fried a damn thing. I just saw, when you get, like, the burger. Oh yeah. Oh not yeah. A, not a damn thing. I don't know what's going on in this picture and I don't know how to help you. Honestly, I'm trying to make people interact, but I think I've screwed it up. I, I definitely know I screwed it up, but I'm just trying Charlie to figure in a tub. out. Tr That's what I'm trying to figure out. How exactly to get it back. Yeah, I got you. Hold on. Here, well, here comes Baz. If this is the TV, like, this could be the only way Yeah. That was a plan. Oh, my bad. Oh, no. You destroyed my good work. I made it Zoro. Okay, I think this is reading a little bit clearer now. Um, uh, yeah, that's where I got the fried Oreos. Sheets has fried? Oh, so you're telling me Sheets has fried Oreos, but this Maybe man we, never tried it? Maybe we should go to Sheets and get some fried Oreos. Yeah, that would be a good idea. I love that. I always love fried Oreos. Communal bathing is like such a part of humanity. It's like only, it's like something that we just don't do in America. Communal bathing. Yeah. And I know in Japan they do it frequently. Communal bathing? I mean, you go to the pool. I mean, uh, the pool, the pool is like. No, I don't know. 
I just I just want to know that certain people are. are Because there's a lot of people that are, that are getting out of the shower unclean, and they need to be taken back into the shower and get a wash. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe by force. Maybe we need a society that have washes each other by force. <laughs> Did you make all of these layers? No. I don't know why I can't edit. Okay, here we go. We're doing uh, digital concepts of firefighters in space, if you would like to see. Yeah. It is online. You can actually join in. Okay. Casey is, is joining joining the, the chat and the... You don't have to be if you don't want to be. Okay. Casey is joining the podcast, everybody. Shouts out to Casey. Hey. Come, come take a look at these concepts. Casey's on camera, everybody. <laughs> All right, so the first one is... um, What? <laughs> what did I do? Um, was that the stitching fiber in this dude's shirt? Was I that zoomed in? I don't know. Like I, I zoomed in, and it's like I could see the stitching in the shirt. Oh yeah, that was just the pixels. Ah. Oh. All right. So the first one is um, the firefighters eating around uh, some type of like space vegetable monster that kind of like it, it's feeding them his children, and they're just all in the cafeteria just having breakfast, and there's like a pet eating food with them, and this was the concept that we came up with. Um, the next one is. The firefighters trying to put out a fire in space, and there's somebody's kid there, and they're asking for help. Um, but the nozzle to the water hose to get the the cannon, the water cannon, to shoot the water out, mm -hmm. it kind of like broke, or didn't attach properly, and it's kind of flinging this firefighter out into space, and everybody's kind of mad. And the fire chief is kind of pissed off because he's missing dinner because of this, and he wants to just go have dinner. And it's just a kid; it doesn't really matter if the kid dies; it doesn't really come out of their paycheck. Okay. Um, I mean, technically it does. I mean, a little bit. It comes up, but it's not that much. It doesn't really matter. Something like what? The age of the kids, probably like 8%. It's not that much. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, and then this one is um, two firefighters um, in the bathtub watching a cop show like Cops, but it's like Grey's Anatomy Cops. Cop drama. I read it as a soap opera because that's what it said in the prompt. So. Yeah. And it's, it's kind of like a, it's a telenovela of... Uh, of firefighters in space. Everyday life of firefighters in space. Um, don't really know. Are you grabbing it? Okay. I have no clue. But it is it is time for us like to draw to a close. Um, so we're going to save these concept arts because these are, these are really crazy ass concepts. Oh, we didn't get to the last part yet. I feel like we should sketch something real quick. Sketch. What do we need to sketch? Uh, uh you, for the see. last drawing, dude, we're not getting see. that done. Like, even, like I said, that's why I said sketch. What it doesn't are, need to be complete. Though. I don't even remember what it was. It was like. <laughs> prank done on fire people eating. Yeah, I'm gonna just draw like a. I don't know what song. part. What part are you gonna draw? I, I guess I'm just gonna. Hey, we got LA in the building, everybody. Hey, the main guy. Hey, hey LA's coming on camera. Shouts out to LA. LA in the building. LA in the building. 
we're drawing a uh, concept art for firefighters in space a telling novella Ooh. yeah we're about to wrap up the fourth one um unfortunately shots out to la all right all right cool all right so what part are you drawing i guess there, there was a i guess i'm gonna do the pet eating part i'm gonna do that I, cat again i'm gonna i'm gonna draw the, the the tv in the background yelling at the people for drinking soda for the firefighter room it's a very upset TV. And then the firefighters are going to be very, very, very um, confused as to, as to why they're getting yelled at. Like, what did you want us to save the kid? Like, it was a kid. It's not really going to come out of a paycheck. Like, who cares? Like, exactly. It's just kids. Everybody knows that kids, you know, you know. I don't even know what firefighter helmets look like. I'm gonna be honest. I, can't, I don't know what it looks like from memory. Like I just, I can sketch one out real quick and then I'm gonna erase it right afterwards. So pretty much you have the cylinder, right? Yeah. And then afterwards you have this uh, little like line right here just to signify the, the logo. And then afterwards you have like a half an oval. He's good at this. And then, yeah. That's pretty much how you make a firefighter's helmet. Oh, yeah, I get it. Okay, yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, it's just simple shapes. If you can understand shapes, you can understand life. I don't understand shapes. You know what? Mo, how do you envision shapes? How do you envision shapes, Mo? Um, so, yep, those little firefighters getting yelled, yelled at. Um, what else was in the, in the thing? Uh, that place tough. Especially. Imagine if there were actually firefighters getting yelled at as we're drawing this. Like our drawings have come to life. Look at that. I need to, I need to, I need to draw a special soda. Special soda. Did any of you guys see WandaVision? Yeah. It's my shit. I even put it in a rap song. I said, niggas, um, something. Niggas, <laughs> niggas trying to do something like we on the same mission. I said, bro, I'm not Wanda. We don't even share the same vision. Ooh, okay. It was it was a song about uh about Kelly Slater and like Who's Kelly Slater? A surf order. Hella sexual double entendres in this song. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I see how it is. I see it. Mm hmm <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, Mo. I don't know what to do with that information. How do you feel about your family? What the hell? That's a random... Because you know, he said he, he sees them so often he, he doesn't think about them, so... Like, I mean, yeah, that is a good point, I guess. Yeah, like, oh, like, how is your family? How do you view your family? Are they like a bunch of shapes? It's just one blob. One I huge blob of shapes. Is, there's blobs of shapes. There's a rectangle. There's a circle. There's a triangle. Loki, the firefighter on the right almost looks like a pirate. This one? Arr. <laughs> you want to see a real pirate. 
You want to see a real pirate. Don't draw. Don't. 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 Don't Why? draw Zoro. Are they going to pirate us for it? Don't draw Zoro. I'm not going to see. Uh, uh, see, you've been on that Zoro tangent all day long. I was just going to draw a simple mm. pirate. But then you had to say that it was going to be Zoro. And now look where we're at. actually need to view like the question many... was uh how do you view your family because you said you see shapes so often you don't think about them so. i view my family as my family that's that's all i'm saying i don't i don't trust my family i love my family they might slime me out i'm pretty sure my family's going to try to slime me out one day I mean, that's what families do. Do what? That's what families do. Um, I'm concerned. Oh. <laughs> I was starting to get concerned. I was like, I don't know how to view this. Drawing candy is like, is, is a chore. It is a chore. You know what? Let's just want, draw one huge Hershey bar. That's what we should do. Yeah, I just been drawing lollipops in there. Looking like a lollipop. Hey, Mo. I don't know what that was about to be. Honestly, I think that was one huge candy bar. Like a one huge Hershey's. Okay. I view my family as a series of humans directly connected to me. Oh my gosh. I mean, he ain't wrong on that. So nobody else's views, views their family members as like the failed prototypes and you're kind of like the one that kind of works. But then they become a series uh, of undefined shapes when I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. And there we go. Oh There's the drawing. There's the drawing. <laughs> and we have brought it back to They're just blobs. We have brought it back to clothes and we have brought it all the way around. There that is how you view your family. We got some interesting concept arts here. Um I kind of like the one where they're kind of laughing in, in the tub watching a cop show. The That's most. still undefined, but I think I got it to the point on the far left. The one the one where they're like eating, eating is pretty cool. Um, I, I don't know how to draw spaceships. I don't get it. don't understand it. That's why they're a bunch of block. Okay, yeah, let's do the outro. You ready? Yep. Um, thank you guys for coming back to another episode of Painting with Friends. As usual, I'm Baz Hayes, and today we were joined by Geo the Creative. You can follow him on Instagram if you want some designer work done. Um, what, what plans do you have for uh, for for your graphic design? Honestly, it's just um. So mainly, what I do is just portrait work. So if you're interested in having like a family member or a, you know a close friend, especially since it's Christmas time. Um, the perfect gift, then you can contact me either on my Instagram. All of my information will be on there through my link tree. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice. That's pretty much all I have. All right. You all have a great evening as well, dogs. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see y'all soon next Tuesday with whatever special guests we have that day. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. And we might play some Star Trek online. <laughs> I need to know what Star Trek Online is.